Okay, so here we are with the characters of the International Phonetic Alphabet right in front of me, along with an, uh, some uh, really great... Uh, IPA is a great way to uh, display phonetic sounds. So, uh, the reason why I'm starting here is because uh, uh, I am currently oops I'm trying I'm putting the wrong program right away. I am trying to create my own uh, language right now I'm starting to make my own language and creating a new language always something uh, that many I just try to do this for a bit of fun uh, to do this for a bit of fun I created my own language but uh, it's a simple very simple language uh, one of the things I simplified on is the character set. Uh, for example, there are quite a lot of sounds are missing on the uh, letter table. Uh, one of the things you might notice, uh, quite a lot of sounds are missing. I've got only uh, this row of characters, which is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 characters for the letters. Uh, another thing, I've actually added uh, custom numbers to this uh, based on the Cyrillic number set, except they are repurposed for use with base 16 or hex uh, because that's used quite a lot in computers. Now here's my syntax, uh, or my s grammar, which again I have simplified to simply having from English, from present, past, future, and a past conditional, uh, with just two models and no irregularities allowed. Uh, word, all is very, again, very simple, subject, verb, object, because that's the most common one. However, I did one then add that in a question where all this are inverted and uh, made everything pretty pretty simple to understand in general, especially the words, how the verbs are created. And uh, yeah, uh, this is not complete. In fact, this is far from complete. I really want to get some time to give myself some time to develop this language. Uh, now I'm not going to be using that language on uh, on my videos of course, this is something I made just for fun and to uh, kind of draft the world of 2070 where the children take over sighting. Of course I wanted to simplify down the language to something that's pretty simple to understand. Uh, so that's a bit of an introduction to my language that I am writing. 